Hello. This video is to demonstrate the steps to register a new rental agreement in AMT. So I'll just jump into AMT. So this is the main navigation of AMT. So if you have a new rental agreement, uh, the first thing you do is you select the equipment on the right hand side in the Explorer. Right click and open the details for that equipment. And on the right hand side is a tab that says plant hire. And if we navigate to that, this shows all of the rental agreements for that piece of equipment, historical and what's current and what's planned in the future. So if we want to register a new one, we click on the plus button and that sets up a new agreement and it copies the rate schedule from the previous rental agreement. So if your rates are set rates that are the same from one agreement to the next agreement, it automatically copies those across. Now you can edit these at this point. You can click to open one of these to edit it, add a new row in the breakdown of the rental agreements. But assuming that they are staying the same, then you'll select the project for that um, agreement. So many equipment can be assigned to the same, the same project. So we select the project and we can select the term. So let's say that we are going to rent it in 2016 or so. And you can nominate the probability and the expected utilization per annum uh, for that rental agreement. And once you define that, you can save that. And those are the steps to set up a new rental agreement. So it's a fairly quick and easy process to set up a new agreement. Now if you wanted to update the status of the rental agreement, uh, if something changes, the probability changes or the term, you can go into that same form where we've just been in and make the edit. Or alternatively, what is easier, if you're looking at all of your projects, is to go to the Projects Allocation Gantt Chart. So here you can filter for any equipment, any fleet, any contract, uh, and see all the rental agreements listed down. So in this example, we've got PH101, Truck 101, and you can see it's registered, it's listed twice because it's got two rental agreements between May 2013 and May 2015. The Gantt chart shows the period of that rental agreement and the color indicates the status. So green means it's 100% committed um, or it's in progress. If it's in progress, it assumes it's 100% probability. Uh, light blue is, means it's less than 50% probability and there's a dark blue color uh, that is greater than 50%. So yeah, that dark blue color means that it's uh, between 50 and 100% probability. Now if we wish to edit one of these, you can edit it on the screen. You can click on any one of these and actually edit the dates, uh, edit the probability. Um, so you don't have to go to that other form to open it up. You've got one form here where you can be editing the dates and the probability. And as you make these changes, it is updating the rest of, of um, AMT. The probability is particularly important because that drives your forecasting of your revenue and your costs. So the way AMT works is if you change this probability from 60% to 70%, it will forecast 70% of the revenue, but it also has the net effect of forecasting 70% of your costs. And the way that it does that is actually through the utilization of the equipment. It uh, the first thing it does is it says it's, if, if you're assuming it's going to be 5,000 hours a year, engine hours a year, it'll apply 70% or 60% in this example to that probability, to that utilization. So it'll assume it's not going to do 5,000, it's going to do 3,000 hours a year, meaning 60% times the 5,000 hours a year. And it's that reduced utilization that drives your reduced billings 
or uh, revenue and also then the lower utilization drives a lower cost. So it always ensures that your forecasting of your revenue and your costs is aligned. You're not going to be forecasting 60% of your costs and 100% of your revenue uh, or vice versa. So it, um, so that probability is a very important feature when it comes to the forecasting and the budgeting capabilities with an AMT. Okay, thank you. That finishes this little video segment.